Um, so I've gotten a couple times questions, and I know I've just done a bunch of different little videos without any fundamental uh, video. That you just got your email. What do you What do you need to do to get started? And what do you What do you uh, trying to accomplish and learn from this? So I would say the first thing to understand is. This is a training system that is designed to start from zero. So it's not, it's not meant to fix your swing. And the reason that is, is because my belief is you can't really fix a swing. You can't take a motor pattern that you already have and try to alter it. It's, it's much too ingrained over the years and that won't make it better. It'll probably only make it worse. But what you can do is create a new motor pattern. So that's what you're learning, and that's what you have to bear in mind as you do this, as you try to start to get bigger. You feel like you're going back to your old motor pattern, you're doing kind of the things you were doing. Go smaller and, and think about this as a different thing. Give it a different name. This is swing number two. You wrote your first novel already. You revised it a hundred times. You're not quite satisfied still with it. It's time to put it on the shelf. And we're going to start writing something different. And so what are the fundamental things that you're going to build here? So a couple things that I believe about the swing. Um, I would say the first, the really the one fundamental, the first fundamental is that every club has its own timing and sequence, right? So when you pick up a club, what you're trying to learn in a swing is actually how to time the inherent pendulum motion of a golf club, right? So you're taking this, this is really the swing part of a swing. The other part is you're moving this around in space, but that that's, you know, deliberate, right? You're moving it back here, letting it drop and falling. As it gets here, you speed it up. So, but it's attending to what the club head is doing. That's what a swing is all about. Learning through feel how to time that and place it. Um, and what this is doing for you is showing you what, basically where your path is, right? So learning to have a path that's not doing things like this it becomes very obvious right away. That's the path of a swing, right? That's where the swing is. That's a single plane slicing through space. It doesn't, you could, if you could have a lower plane, you could have, I mean, there are players, of course, that don't play this way. They come this way and this way. But through here, most, all, everybody that's good has figured out how to make a nice, clean, circular plane. Even if they start here and do this, then they get back to here. This is never, they will be inclined to do that and then get back. But, so, it's finding a thing for you, and then, this is an important thing that most players don't do well, is they don't sequence properly. So proper sequencing is to lead with the lower body. I'm doing an overemphasized version of this, but most people, when they pick this up, well, they'll do two things. They'll do this, because that's what they're used to doing in their swing, which is opening and closing the face. Right, so not terribly, you can imagine how accurate that is, right? Not great. So learn to keep the face, the path square by moving this through space. And then learn, let your, let your arms relax as you practice. This will take, if you don't move this way already, it will take, do it, do it again, do it again, and then it will suddenly click. But, so as relaxed as you can be with your upper body, Start shifting your weight back and forth. You can even take kind of little steps if you want. So if you want to take a step, you can do it away. Take a step that gives you the right idea. And then you can see that my lower body goes, then the thing follows, right? Shifting and turning. This comes out of Dr. Kwan's teaching. He calls it the Schoen motion. Shift and turn, shift and turn, shift and turn. And that's just kind of a good, that's golf medicine there. If you can get that motion going, you have the fundamental body-driven motion of a good golf swing, right? A bad golf swing is doing this, everything together. Right? 
and that's how you get you get to the top. You turn too soon, you go over, you slice or you pull, right? So shifting, then turning, and you want to do it both ways. So work with that, and it's important that there's a tossing feeling both ways too. And that's going to be probably different from what you do. So that's very important. And the reason that's very important is that is the first impulse of your swing, right? So the first impulse, if your old swing was to do something, this is the worst version of what probably most people's swing has something of that in it where you lift up. And it's your thinking. Thinking is that way. So in order to create an entirely new movement pattern, it's critical that your first move is different in some ways. It has to feel different and you have to, that signals like, okay, this is a new movement pattern, then you have to stay with that. If you try to do this and then create a new movement pattern, you're already done. Not going to happen. You have to make that first move different. So work with that. Pick up your club. Imagine now you're still swinging your e-bell and use your body the way you did with that, right? So you transfer. It's basically, people say, um, good players swing the club as if it's very heavy. And they, what they're, you tune into the heaviness of your arms, but that's basically just that it's not necessary. Your body knows you can do this with a club, right? It's not necessary to swing it as if it's heavy, but it's better. It's more efficient. It works better. So you have to actually feel as much heaviness, and that's the tricky part, right? To transfer an actual heavy object feeling to an object that isn't as heavy. So you start feeling that weight and moving in the same way. And just this is a little drill I would do. So feel that, and then find, and then as a last kind of practice, just go through it. Doesn't have to be big. And you don't want to apply any extra energy to it other than just that feeling, and then same thing. Just swing through it. So, no impulse at the ball. It's just like it's the very same feeling, and then you would just go through it like that. So, that's your basic thing that you're going to learn. Um, if you have someone who's an absolute beginner, this is perfect because you're learning a fundamentally sound, good swing and then you can build on top of that, right? For most of us, we, we developed our own terrible motor pattern and then we can't undo it. So this this designed to do, for both somebody that has a motor pattern that doesn't work as well as they would like and for somebody that has never played, it's the same thing. Because you're starting at zero, either way. Starting at zero, learn to feel that basic fundamental shifting body-driven motion then when you get to the ball, put the motion through the ball. That's, it's really important to you put that through the ball, put that motion through the ball. Don't revert to a hitting the ball kind of feeling. So it's as if there's no intention but to move the club through that space and the ball is just in the way. And you'll, you'll know, you'll feel like this. Is, you'll feel like a very different, less effort, less point focused thing, right? You're not focused on a point, you're focused on a movement in the space that way. So that's basic understanding how to use this and then just flip flop back and forth. You, you'll feel, oh, I kind of get it with my club, now it's going away. Go back to your e-bell trainer, work with it, get your feeling back, apply it to a shot, try it a little bigger. If you start to do something else, go back to smaller move around where you stand. Don't start altering your motion. To, if the ball's not going where you want it to go, first of all, don't worry about it because you're learning to swing first and then adjust that, but also just make adjustments like this. Don't make adjustments to your a good motion. So that's it.